Here's a 2012 Somalian African elephant. These coins have been commissioned by the Republic of Somalia to be minted by a mint in Germany for, you know, their circulation. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure how many of these they mint per year, but some of the older dates of these are pretty are pretty valuable. They they demand a pretty hefty price. But these are pretty nice. They um this is the a verse of the coin. It has African wildlife across the top, elephant, one ounce A G nine nine nine. And on this side it says, you know, Somali Republic. And I like the date the way they put the date on these coins, 20 on one side and then the 12 on the other. It has a face value of 100 shillings, which is a little over 6 cent converted into U.S. dollars, which I was surprised when I looked it up. I thought it would be a lot more. I thought it would be close to a dollar, but not even a tenth, not even a fraction, just, just 6 cent, which is crazy. Not that face value means anything, but... I just found that I just found that interesting. Um, these coins have a nice proof-like finish on them, like a mirror finish, uh, similar to the Britannia's actually, which is I guess not not really a surprise they would use a similar style. Well, the Britannia's they are minted in Germany, but that's sort of a European style, I, I guess. But they're nice. They're nice and shiny. They have a reeded edge. And I think they have a di diameter of 39 inches, I want to say. Or maybe 38. You can't really tell by looking, but when you're getting the air tights, it makes a difference. Because if they're a little big, they'll move around a little bit. These air tights are the perfect size for these coins. But these, it has, <clears throat> this coin actually has three elephants in it. A calf, two calves, and a you know, a matriarch or whatever. It has a little bird flying in the back, a vulture or whatever it is. And that classic African tree. I'm not sure what the name of the tree is, but they actually don't grow in that shape. It's just the elephants and the giraffes and all the, you know, foraging animals. They eat all the lower all the lower branches and all the lower leaves. So they actually like trim these trees to where they end up having that shape. If if you just plant one and let it grow, it'll look like a um sort of like a maple tree, just kind of big and kind of rounded, which that's pretty cool. But it's it's 1 ounce. It's a nice coin. Um but yeah, I, I would like to collect the whole set of these because because the um, like the Australian kookaburras, the design changes every year. So that kind of attracts me to them, and that makes them really collectible. But yeah, these coins are expensive. Like the, a lot of the older coins, you're going to pay 60 70 80 or even more. But they're good coins, and they're good to add to any collection. So thanks for watching, and rate this review.